Can I just um, ask, feeling humble, being humble, isn't that going to attract people to you who will want to use that uh, in a using new sort of way? Uh, it's impossible humble. to use a person who's humble. The reason why is the person who's humble is feeling their own emotions 24 by 7. So can they ever be out of tune with their own emotion? No, but you can be, sort of go for the ride. You can be your humble self but, and, and not realise what the other people are doing. But you don't need to realise what the other people are doing. Until it catches up with you later on. But it won't catch up with you if... Take them for, for a ride or something. No, but that would never happen if you were humble in the first place. Can you can everyone see why that would never happen? Yes. You sure you can see? Yeah. The law of attraction. If I'm completely humble, that means I'm feeling every emotion myself and not projecting any emotion outside of me. That means I'm owning every single emotion that's happening inside of me. So the law of attraction will very very rapidly change, will it not? Will I ever attract a person? If I'm humble, will I ever attract being used? It's impossible. Like, it's only when I'm not humble that I'm going to attract someone being using me to trigger the emotion that I've just been avoiding. Does that, you follow that? Everything that goes on in your life, you will either avoid and need the law of attraction to expose it, or you will deal with it then and there and you will not attract it anymore. Like, the truth is that all of you, like I, I'm giving of my time and you're giving of my, your time here today, right? Now, it's cost me to give of my time, obviously. Obviously, I could be doing something else. I could be at home crying, actually. That's what I feel like, But if we allow ourselves, right, in this transaction to feel everything, we cannot, you cannot use me. You, you cannot use me in any way. If I allow myself to feel every emotion and I'm truthful about every emotion that I'm feeling. So for example, if all of you were angry with me and if I had some worthiness feelings that have been not dealt with, then I would get into my emotion and start crying, wouldn't I? If all of you were angry with me and I dealt with the worthiness emotion, I'd just say, all of you are angry with me. It's not a good time for me to be here. Catch you later. And it wouldn't affect me at all. Right? Either way, the law of attraction would work for all of us. Yeah? Is that lady's um, caution about humility related to that we get very confused. We confuse humility with being vulnerable. Well, the vulnerability of humility. Yeah. Um, then we, can, we have a, a misunderstanding that that makes us that disempowers us. Yeah. And therefore we're open to persecution rather than to being attacked because we're disempowered. We're vulnerable. Yeah. We often confuse it. We confuse humility with being vulnerable and disempowered and weakness yes. when it's actually the most empowering position to be. Spot on. And often we confuse humility with being humiliated. Mm -hmm. And they are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. yeah, totally different things. I'm thinking of a person who might be totally all, all feeling, mm -hmm. which is Fantastic. They're totally secure in their mind, and they're just, you know, gliding along, flowing along, very calmly and naturally, and nothing's hurting them or yep. no obstacles, um, flowing smoothly. Um, and you're attracting people who like that about you. Yep. But um, they're needing a calm person around them. Yep. But they're totally not. Yeah, but but if they're in, if that person, the original person, is attracting these needy people then there's something within that person that still needs to be cleared. And, and I can, like, I know exactly what it would be as well. Which is? What do you think it might be? If, if I'm a humble person but I'm attracting all these needy people that I'm always helping all the time, what, what's going on within me? No self-worth. I've got no self-worth. I, I might be humble but I have no self-worth. And I need to have self-worth, so I need to deal with the emotions of unworthiness. Yeah? That's the only reason why that would work, how that would work. Because I have unworthiness emotions inside of myself to deal with. But if you've been um, sort of successful in what you're doing in your life, and mm, but you're like, happy with the way things I was a multi-millionaire, I was successful. Mm. But it doesn't mean that I didn't have huge unworthiness. Mm. 
No, you can you can be quite successful in the intellectual way, tuning out of your emotions, but you you can not feel you can still not feel some deep emotions of unworthiness. The truth is, I was attracting those people all the time, yeah. and totally blind to it at the time. 